All right, welcome along. My name's Bosch. This is Bosch's Ableton Beginner Bits. And today's going to be a short one. I'm just going to show you two ways to make sirens in Ableton using Operator. No messing around. Let's just get straight into it. So what I'm going to do is drag in an Operator into a MIDI channel. Like so. Then let's hear that sound. Yep, standard tone. I haven't done anything to it. So, first thing you're going to do is turn on your LFO. You can hear it start to waver. You're going to turn the rate down a little bit. You're going to turn your amount up. Alright, and that's essentially it, but you can go a little bit further. If you click on the oscillator here, turn this wave so this is where you control the waveform of that oscillator. You're going to turn the wave to a triangle wave. And now listen to the difference. It's just added a few more little harmonics in there. Just gives it that woo, 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 proper like wailing siren sound. So the two main controls for this that you're going to want are the rate and the amount in your LFO. So the rate controls the speed. Yep, and the amount contr controls how deep it goes. So if it's a low amount, it'll just be... If it's a big amount, it'll be... So it's how far up and down the scale it goes. So that's the base of the siren. And then what you want to do, we can add reverbs and effects and all kinds of things. So I'll quickly just start adding a couple of bits of reverb. And let's do the basic one again. Yeah, we could add a delay. Again, my favorite to echo, but let's go with delay for now. Let's go with the old delay plugin. Yeah. Now, one thing you can do is turn the rate down. Now, if you turn off re-trigger, when re-trigger's on, which it is at the moment, the sound will always start in the same place. When you turn re-trigger re off, it means that the LFO can be at any point in, the, in its cycle when the note starts. So when you turn re-trigger off, you'll get some more interesting sounds. Every time you press that note, it's going to sound a little bit different. Let's turn it off. Turn the rate down. So now when I if I press this note repeatedly, it'll be because it's the, the LFO is still running. And then we're starting the notes at different points in the LFO. Let's turn that to low. Yeah, whereas when you turn re-trigger on. It's always going to start at the same point. I prefer it without the re-trigger. Yeah, you can get some, some wider spacey sounds. I would turn the ping pong on, on the delay. And the amount. Yeah. So that's, ba that's your basic dub siren. Let's turn the reverb and the delay off, and then we're going to do the second one. This is going to be a short video, this. Second one is more like what I call the do 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 siren, and it's like a... It's more like a police siren, like a solid chop up and down between the two notes. And the only thing you need to do to change this is go to your LFO on oscillator, uh, on operator, change the sine wave to square, and then we've got... Yeah. Again, rate and not amount of your friends here. Yeah, classic dub sound. Let's do the amount. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's another real classic dub siren sort of sound. Let's put the rever reverb and delay back on it. That's another another really good way to um, get a get a, a good dub siren if you want one. <laughs> it's a, just another really good way to do it, uh, and that's it for this video. This is just a, a really short one. Two ways to make effective dub sirens. My name's Bosch. This is Bosch's Ableton Beginner Bits, and I will see you next time. Ciao. <laughs>